know uh, throughout the video I've gone about 6 prayer, being the 5% prayer. I realise it's now 8, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I asked my friend and obviously he can't read. So, um, it doesn't really affect, I, I did all the calculations again, it doesn't really affect the combat level that much. I think in just some of them it's uh, like 0.5 difference, which uh, doesn't really affect it as it's not a whole combat level. However, um, yeah, just, you know, take note that it is wrong, that you don't get a 6 prayer. Um, and not, you know, uh, not eight sort of thing. Right, so um, enjoy the video. Alright guys, so I've had quite a lot of questions recently regarding prayer. Um, as you know, the uh, 2007 servers have come out and people are starting brand new fresh accounts and they are wondering, should they get prayer or should they not get prayer? So what I've done, I made a quick little slideshow saying why you should and why you shouldn't. Positive and negative, and then you can choose whichever thing you believe and then go on. Uh, with the game from there. Right, so what I've done is choose two positive, two negatives. So the positives will be you can use protection prayers such as uh, for clanning, hybriding, protecting from rushes and looting, etc. All the things like that. And it is easier to AFK train such as bandits and skeletons. So um, both really helpful. It's kind of, I guess it's the lazy way, but um, it is more fun. So, but it uh, depends what sort of PK you are. If you're an edge PK, then. Um, you know, it is it's up to you, but it's more used for hybriding, I guess. But however, it, it, you obviously you can use 15% prayers. Also, another thing to take in mind that there's no prayer. Well, there's there's probably prayer pots in the game, but they're quite expensive at the moment. So for the moment, um, they're quite expensive. So I, I wouldn't be using prayer the whole fight. I'd just be using it on your specs, sort of thing. But um, that's obviously down to self preference, unless you have prayer pots yourself. Right, so some negatives that it's unnecessary combat levels, um, when which can be used for range and strength. So say you know to get 31 prayer for the strength player prayer, that's like um, what four or five combat levels, and in that time you could get some more strength levels, which uh, could level out, which I'll show you later whether it does or not. Um, and it also means no hit points XP. Uh, however, your combat level still goes up. So, uh, pretend, or so, say, just imagine you're, what, 60 to 70 combat, and you have reasonably low uh, HP because your prayer has gone up due to your combat, I mean, your combat level has gone up due to your prayer level. Um, if, if you see what I mean, that your hit points won't be as high as high as, uh, high as possible, therefore you may find it um, a bit harder in the wilderness. Right, so what I've done is um, I've done a few stats and saying what you should do so I've just chosen some base stats for I guess a level uh, 45.6 this is uh, 46.5 sorry call it 46 so 40 attack 60 strength 1 defense 40 range 1 prior and 55 HP I didn't include mage just because it doesn't really affect your combat unless you're mage based which there isn't many in the game so you know I'm sure there's guides out there for you but um, this one doesn't really apply to you Right, so what I've done is this is the combat level, uh, this is the combat level, this is the combat level, com this combat level. All the same stats except for prayer. So this is the range prayer, this gives you plus 5% at 6 prayer, this gives you plus 10% at 26 prayer, and um, at 44 prayer it gives you plus 15%. And what I've done is taken, uh, so the original range level, which was 60, so 5% of 60, which is 3. Um, in other words, three range levels added to 60 is only 63. So in this case, it's not worth it, and you get uh, more HP levels at the same time. Um, I mean, I can kind of see a trend here. If you 10% uh, of 60 is 6, so add 6 to 6, 60, that makes 66, which is still less than 71 range if you could do that on your own sort of thing, like without prayer, if you just train it on your own. And again, you get pr uh, hit points without uh, without using prayer. Um, and pretty much similar to this, 15% of 60 is 9, so 9 added to uh, 60 is only 69, so again, it is not worth it if you're a low combat. Um, so say uh, 46 combat, probably less than 50 combat, I would say it's not worth it. Um, it um, so with 44 prey, it'd be 52 combat. So from 15% prey, is that six, uh, 6 combat levels rise? So, um, you know, it's quite a bit just for the 15% prayer that doesn't really work at a low combat, well, it does work, but it doesn't work as effectively at a low combat level. And um, 26 prayer, which is only 3 combat difference, but it's still not worth it, um, you know, in the long run. However, what I've done now is um, I've 
I thought, well, that can't be right because then why would they put prayer in the game? And then I thought, okay, I'll go a little bit higher strength. So say 80. So now I've gone to 80, uh, 80 strength, 80 range, and a rough guesstimate of um, 75 HP. It may be different uh, depending on which train you do, etc. If you use XP levels, if you use quests, you know all that sort of things. So on its own, it's 58 combat. Uh, 58 combat, and then if you was to get the six, uh, six prayer, it doesn't change. Your, it doesn't affect your combat level at all. So you can almost get five percent for free. Not for free, but like it doesn't affect your combat level. So I didn't write any things here. It just direct tick uh, if you're staying at six prayer. Um, and just note, this is only the range ones for now. I'll do the I'll do the strength ones after this. Right. So 10 percent of 80 is eight. Therefore, add 8 to 80 uh, gives you 88, which is less than what you could do um, if you just train prayer. Uh, if you just train range, sorry. So in this circumstance, prayer is good. And 15% uh, of 80 is 12, so 12 at 80 is 92, which was, you know, considerably more than what it would be if you just train range in its own. So as you can see, as the combat level gets higher, or as your stats get higher, the um, amount of percent rises. So say you know the bigger the number, the more percent you have, sort of thing. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, that seems pretty pretty uh, logical to me. Um, so say for example, if you was 30, 30, 30 strength, 30 range, there's no point getting prayer because only 10% of 30 is three, and then you know it wouldn't be worth it. Okay, so now. Um, I just checked out 90, 90 of each, so say a max pure, uh, not a max pure, but almost getting max. I didn't include 99 because no one's got 99 yet, and I guess I could update it later if if someone uh, if someone asked me to. Right, so the combat level of just 90, base 90 stats with um, 85 HP is 65.38. Um, and then for 6 Bray you can get 1 combat level. Uh, so 5% of 90 is 4.5, so as you can see it is better, so 4.5 add 90 is 94.5, which is better than if you was just a train on its own. So that's why I put a little tick there, sort of thing. 10% um, of 90 is 9, so 9 add 90 is 99, and you can only get 95 range um, with being the same combat, sort of thing. And 15% uh, of 90 is 13.5, so 13.5 uh, add to 90 is what 103.5 um so yeah again it's it's again worth it as your higher combat so that's it for the range i guess as you get higher combat and as you get higher stats the range, the prayer becomes more worth it and also you can do things such as bossing etc in the game so just depending on what stats you are and uh, what combat level you wish to pk at um it will depend on if you're getting prayer or not, I guess. So what I've done now is get a strength one. Um, I I chose to go 60 attack this time. I just changed the, all the stats, you know, 60 attack. Um, so, so, so yeah, 60 attack, 80, 80, and 75. That's um, just again a, a rough guesstimate of the HP level that you'll be at. So that's the right combat level. Um, so say the plus five percent strength prayer is only four prayer. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, it does get you one combat level up though. However, five percent of eighty is uh, four, and then four add eighty is eighty-four. So which again, it is better than uh, better than what you could do just training strength. So ten percent of eighty is eight. So eight adds eighty is eighty-eight, which again is better than what you could do. This range, note, this can go up more. I think it can go to ninety-four or ninety-five without leveling combat. But um, obviously that will cost money and etc. 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 Right. So fifteen percent of eighty is twelve. Twelve plus eighty is a hundred. No, ninety-two. Sorry. Uh, which again is higher than what what um. You know what you'll be if you just train on its own without the prayer. So, um, as I said in the things before, no, this does not take HP in consideration. Uh, using non-prayer methods, you will get more HP. So by that I mean, um, if you was to train range on its own or train strength on its own and not use prayer, uh, you'll get your, your HP up. Whether um, uh, say if you was to do prayer on its own, then you wouldn't be getting HP up because obviously you're in the prayer skill, not the combat skills. Um, 
and again for strength as this goes up and the range goes up and the HP goes up etc it becomes a trend it's, it's almost like you know it, it goes up at the same sort of rate it's just at a low level that it's not worth it so I think that's the end yeah that's the end um, I'll leave that up if you wanna have a quick look so what, what I've done there is basically um, shown is prior worth it if you would like to uh, if you have any queries on you know um, if we did anything wrong or if you need any help just leave it in the comments and I will get back to you ASAP um, and happy PK I guess All right see you later guys